Hi guys, it's Sarah Jane, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to do a spoiler free review of The Stars Never Rise by Rachel Vincent. So if you're someone who's been watching my channel for a while, you will know that I'm an absolutely huge, huge fan of Rachel Vincent. So this review is going to be spoiler free. I was lucky enough to get an arc for this book, but as with all my arc reviews, it doesn't affect my opinions on the book. I'm still going to be very, very honest. Usually when I get arcs, it's because a publisher has got in contact with me and they've said, hi, would you like to read this book? And I say yes. But in this case, I actually approached the publishers and I just asked them really nicely if I could have an arc. I explained to them that I've had books in the past from other publishers that I've reviewed and I said that I would definitely get a video review up of this book if they were happy to send me an arc and they did. They gave me an arc in ebook form and spoiler alert, no it's not spoiler alert, I loved it. I can feel literally that you all just went ah and quickly went to press like pause or something. Sorry that wasn't very funny. So The Stars Never Rise is a very very interesting book. It's kind of like a hybrid between dystopian and paranormal. Rachel Vincent has combined two of perhaps the most overdone genres, pushed them together and made it something new, exciting and fresh. Now when I say overdone I don't mean that in a negative sense, you know I'm still going to read dystopian books, I'm still going to read paranormal books because I love them, but at the same time it's very interesting to see two genres pushed together that are quite overdone, overused, that we're used to seeing and then it's suddenly something completely different. 16 year old Nina Kane should be worrying about her immortal soul but she's too busy trying to actually survive. Nina's town's population has been decimated by soul consuming demons and souls are in short supply. They gave up on their deadbeat mum a long time ago, it's just Nina and Melly against the world but then Nina discovers that Melly is keeping a secret that threatens everything. In New Temperance the church actually prosecutes sins as crimes and Melly's sin has put them both in serious trouble. In order to keep them both alive, Nina must trust a boy called Finn, he has deep green eyes, he's a fugitive, so basically I love him. Nina is wanted by the church and hunted by dark forces and they have to band together to save her sister Melly. Now that's really all I can tell you from the premise of the book. Now normally when I tell you guys the premise I'm telling you it from my point of view, however I have actually pretty much just read that off of the Goodreads page and the reason for that is that I literally devoured this book so quickly and I went into it blind I actually couldn't remember what I was allowed to tell you guys and what I wasn't. Because there are some serious, serious plot twists in this book and because I went into it blind I was kind of just sat here like, what actually can I tell you guys about this book? So like I said in the beginning, this book is like a hybrid of paranormal and dystopian. I think it's really, really exciting. I love the fact that we were in the future and everything was very bleak. As with most dystopians, there is a force in control of everybody that's usually very oppressive, very, very strict. But then you also have the other side, which is the paranormal side. And by pushing these two genres together, it creates something very, very new. And oh my God, was it exciting. So while I was reading the book I happened to be scrolling through Facebook and just by pure chance I saw a status from Rachel Vincent on her author page and she said that a lot of people didn't see the twist coming. Now I'd only just started the book so I thought to myself right I'm gonna see if I can see the twists coming. Even if I had seen them I still would have been given a little inkling by Rachel herself but I didn't see a single twist coming. Not one. Genuinely guys I did not see a single twist coming. It is that good. Stay still. So if you're wondering what I rated this book, I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Now, some of you may be thinking, oh, what a surprise, it's Rachel Vincent, she always rates her books 5 out of 5 stars, but to be honest, I think it kind of makes it a little bit harder for me to rate a Rachel Vincent book, because if anything, I'm actually more critical, not less, because I've come to expect such a high standard from her. If I read a book that didn't really meet those standards, I would be disappointed, and I'd probably be more critical. The last thing I want is for you guys to think that I just read a Rachel Vincent book and automatically give it 5 out of 5 stars because I promise you I don't. It is just that her books are that good and I absolutely love this one. So a couple of the things I really liked about this book were as follows. Of course I love the writing style. I really like the characters. But another thing I really really liked was this strong sense of family. Family and friendship. Family and friendship was the running theme throughout this book. There's Nina and her sister Melly, and they are very very close. And when Nina meets Finn it isn't just her and him against the world, there's a lot more to it than that and I just really really liked this sense of family, the sense of friendship. While a lot of those friendships are new at this point in time I'm really really excited for the following book because I feel like these friendships are just going to get stronger and stronger and I think that's going to be one of the biggest selling points of this book. 
So The Stars Never Rise is out now and I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend that you guys go and pick it up because I just loved it. Loved it. So good. I'd recommend this book if you like YA, I'd also recommend it if you're into the genres paranormal, dystopian, that sort of thing, but you're kind of in the mood for something a little bit different. I'd also recommend this book if you're a fan of Jennifer L. Armentrout because I feel like the people who would read her books would also really, really like Rachel Vincent and vice versa. But that's it, that's my spoiler-free review, I hope you liked it, please give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you